All right, everybody. It is February 21st. It's snowing outside, very cold. Um, I ordered black soldier flies. I think I ordered about 200 of them. They came in this container here. And they seem to be a little frozen. So, I'm sure they're still alive. Um, but I just set up this little bin for them because we want to get them to their pre-pupa stage and let them pupate and then turn into flies so then we can get a bunch of eggs. So we've been saving some food for them uh, for their arrival. And we had this in the refrigerator. First, we're gonna go ahead and add these in to this uh, cocoa coir. We just added a little bit into the bottom here. So we're gonna add Black soldier flies. There seems to be some of them that are about to uh, pupate there. When they turn black, they're almost ready to turn into flies. I have a different setup that I was going that I'm gonna put them in that will allow the mature ones to escape. And um, once they escape, they will turn into flies in a dry area that is set up for them to lay their eggs. So we just put half of a rotting tomato in there. Um, I have to go to work and I'll be there for about probably five hours and then I'll be on break. So when I come back on break, I'm going to see if there's any uh, activity, if they're moving around once they warmed up a little bit. They don't seem to be like frozen hard. They're still soft. Um, they they feel alive. Um, we'll see. All right, guys. Uh, thanks for watching. Stay tuned. And uh, we'll expand these bins where we might... Uh, do a little workshop showing some of our friends how to set up a bin of their own and then we'll expand our culture by setting up a breeding area for them so that they can lay eggs once they turn into flies. And uh, just a little note about black soldier flies. Um, they live most of their life as these uh, grubs. Um, they eat and sterilize food. They turn it into compost with active microbes. Um, if you have enough, you can collect a good compost tea from them. Um, they only turn into flies about for about a week, and they don't have mouths, so they don't go around eating stuff and spreading germs or nothing like that. And they only really turn into flies to lay eggs. So these are perfect for vermicomposting or vermiculture. I don't know if you can see, because they're moving really, really slowly. Here, I'll get out of the light. <laughs> they're moving very slowly. But they are alive. Um, I didn't think about it when I put the tomato in, but it's red, and I put this red crystal in there because um, the red color uh, symbolizes survival. So I wanted them to survive. So I unconsciously fed them something red, and then I consciously put a red crystal in there. But if you look underneath the tomato, they found their way into the tomato. There they are, they're eating, and they're happy. If you have any questions or comments, throw that down. Um, if you like the video, hit the thumbs up, share on Facebook and Twitter. Other than that, this has been Apex Growers Vermiculture Black Soldier Fly Introduction. <laughs> it's freaking awesome.